viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, my brothers? Hope you guys are doing well. I just uh, wanted to do a little video here. I got a smell mail con, mail con on, in, today in the mailbox. I've been wanting these products for a while, and uh, I decided to pull the trigger because I just hate when I want something, and I just have to have it. <laughs> so I finally got them. Junior's saying hi. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> Got a mail call in for today from uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Thanks for the support. It says, uh, we can see you do the happy dance. Do the happy dance. Happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Trying to do this one one handed here. So you can see the package says Phoenix Phoenix shaving. Pretty heavy too. I was gonna buy a straight razor, razor and I had a uh, seven eighths, uh, seven eighths ground hollow, weight and butcher, the celebrated, like my other one, but this one had a square point on the front. It was a seven eighths. It was a big chopper, but I lost the bid. So once I lost the bid, I ended up buying this here. It sucks when you lose a bid, you know, on a great product that you want. And you just, you lose the bid. That's what's bad about eBay. You don't bid high, bid high enough and you, uh, you, uh, you lose the, uh, <laughs> you lose the, uh, the bid and you lose your, your item you're, you bid on. Try to do this one handed without Junior touching because he always grabs. Give me a second guys, please. It's very hard to try to open this package here. Single-handed. There, got it. Yeah, it was a beautiful blade. It was a restored blade. It was uh, starting bid ninety-nine dollars, but a lot of people bid on it, so I ended up. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't check the ending bid, but once. I checked again, uh, and I, I saw that it was uh, up to $152. Very nice weight in butcher. It had black horn scales on it. The blade was uh, restored and polished, and it was honed. Damn, I feel bad. I didn't get it, but you can't win them all, you know? But I've been wanting another weight in butcher, a, a square point weight in butcher. Got some swag here. That's my brother, uh, Reed says, it's an alien here. No, no, it's a uh, some kind of uh, goblin. <laughs> That's what it looks like from the, the lagoon or something. You can always spot a Phoenix shaving customer. I believe he's uh, he's dancing there in the background. And then I got a receipt here. Keep it calm and shave on. Oh, and wash your hands too, a lot. My receipt for my uh, my order. 
Really great packaging all the time from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. Great packaging. Always, I've never had an issue with it, with them shipping my products. They always come in very well packaged. This was on the top of the package. Got my soaps here. How about two sets? Very well packaged products. This is a uh, Ziploc bag with a uh, wrapping inside. Very protective. My new two aftershaves. They come in now in these new boxes, these boxes. These to always come bull wrapped. But now Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements uh, puts them in the box. And they still uh, put wrap on them. Protective the wrap. But yeah. Alright, empty box. Alright guys, this scent here I've always loved. This is a classic scent. And I've always loved it because uh, it's just an awesome scent. So it's, you, you, you know when you put it on, it's awesome. It's just classic to me, in my opinion. I want, I'm opening my dot bag right here, and all my, my, my fragrances are in my dot bag. But it's inspired by this scent here. Paco Rabanne. For whom? I love this cologne right here. I love it. Absolutely love it. I love it. I call it the lavender bomb. It has other notes in there, but it has a strong lavender scent to it. And this is the the soap that plays homage to it. Green label doppelganger. And this is in the CK6 formula. Well, I can't wait to open this. Six, five ounces of soap. As soon as I opened it, I got that strong width from the cologne. I shit you not, it smells exactly like the cologne, guys. Douglas did an awesome job, and Fran did an awesome job on re uh, replicating the scent here. It smells exactly like Paco Raban. Raban, for whom? <coughs> Love it. This is like a lavender fougere scent. You want to smell it? I'm sorry. I'm showy, Papa. You like that? You like that, Papa? Huh? Yeah, you like it? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it smells bomb. It smells heavenly. Intoxicating aroma right here. Very intoxicating. Let me see what this aftershave is. I'm going to open this package here. Very hard to do this. Uh, holding Junior and opening these products here. Very well packaging. Hope this is the cologne that from the, the top of game. If not, then I'll just open another box. See, look at very well wrapped. They have a cardboard box here to, to protect. And another piece of uh uh another piece of this here, the wrap. To uh, secure it from not breaking, which is awesome. Oh yeah, it is. Boom, as Douglas Douglas says, <laughs> he says boom when he sees his products of the day. Uh, Shave of the days on Instagram. This is a uh, aftershave cologne. I can't wait to try this. And these are in his newer bottles here, square bottles, no reducer. But uh, he does have a video where he. Uh, Shows how to pour these, which before I, I didn't know how to pour them because I would get uh, aftershave everywhere on the back of the bottle, on the label. I just wasn't pouring it correctly. But he does have a video on how to pour these. A certain way you do it, and they come it comes out smooth. All right, and this is the next uh, soap here that I bought. I've been wanting this ever since it came out. And I did have a sample of it. I still have a sample of it. I got it at the uh, SoCal Wet Shavers Meetup in San Diego last year in October, where I met where I met Douglas. 
and uh, Douglas had samples of these on his table and I had to ask him for a sample and I had and uh <laughs> yeah I had to get a sample from him and he 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 graciously graciously gave me a sample and, and I asked him for a sample when I bought a couple of his uh products on his booth he was nice enough to give me a sample of the uh the of this here and this is the ESP uh, I don't know. I forgot what the ESP stands for. It has something. Uh, it, me it means something. But this scent here is is it's unbelievable, guys. You have to try it and you have to smell it. To wow, this is a very unique scent. I have a video on my on my on my YouTube. I'll be posting a link for that. But I had to get this here. I had to. I had to. It was just a must. I still have plenty of uh, sample left in the sample size because he does give generous samples. And he gave me a sample of the star jelly, which is cool too, in the ESP scent. Here. No, you don't want none? Okay. Since he has hiccups, I thought he wanted some water, but he doesn't. It's water. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, yummy. Yeah, I had to grab that scent, guys. It's this intoxicating aroma, and uh, this has a lot going on, too. You're just going to have to wait for the video. I mean, when I when I use this here. But this is like a uh, like a barbershop fougere. It has a lot of things going on in there. In there. <sighs> Powdery. It's unbelievable, guys. It's it's awesome. It's 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 a truly... Well done scent here. The ESP scent. I had to grab this. <laughs> Once again. And a CK6 for me, of course. Boom. And this here, uh, it's a matching aftershave. Just the quality of the products from Douglas, they that's what makes me come back to them because uh, they have awesome they have incredible scents. And they have a lot to choose from. They have a lot to choose from, guys. Let me post in their, uh, their website down below if you guys want to be interested in buying some products from them. From Douglas and Fran. Which I have supported for a long time. And there's a reason for that. Because their products are they're awesome. They're just phenomenal in every way. Oh, I'm going to open this open again. What am I doing? I'll show you after shape. Again, very well sealed. Hold on, Papa. Hold on. Showing your aftershave. The quality of the products, guys, just it's it's awesome. You know these aftershaves here, they last all day on me. And I shit you not, I've said it in my videos. I put it on. I come back home, I still smell like it. If I don't take a shower during the evening, still smell it. If I don't take a shower in that evening. I can still smell it the next day on my pillow. Awesome aftershaves. They feel awesome too. Incredible. Incredible aftershaves. That's the ESP uh, aftershave cologne. And I got one more product here. I haven't tried these products yet from, uh, from Douglas. But I decided to give it a go. And I know it's going to be awesome. Hold on. This one has a lot of tape on here. Okay, finally managed to uh, break the wrapping, rip the wrapping. I had to get me my, I had to get me my myself some beard oil in the ESP scent. And this comes in two ounces of uh, two ounces of beard oil, premium artisan beard oil. And that's this has ingredients of almond oil, cookie oil, pickery pear oil, golden jojoba oil, jojoba oil. I mean pumpkin oil, calendula oil, neem oil, argan oil, 
vitamin E oil, essential, and fragrance. Can't wait to use this to put it on my beard. But yeah, I had to get this right here. It's a must. Because this is intoxicating. It really is, guys. Hey. You have to try it to know and to feel the experience of ESP. Like I said, I have a, uh, a video down for it. I'm going to be putting down the link for it if you guys are interested in watching it. I don't know if you guys have or not. But I'm going to be doing a uh, other shave video with this here. With both products. Take care, my brothers. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. It means a lot. I wish I had some brew to uh, toast you guys out, but I don't. I'm going to just uh, have to toast you out with water. <laughs> Cheers. Say bye, bye, bye. Say bye. Say bye. When he woke up, uh, he had this mean look on his face. And uh, he gets that mean look from me because that's how I look when I look serious. And don't smile. I'll be putting some pictures down so you guys can check them out. But uh, it's it's funny because, he, of course, he's mine. He has my jeans, but... Yeah. <laughs> she bye. She bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you. He has his uh, look, you know, and, and he reminds me of me when he looks like that. It's just a serious mad look. And I'll be putting it down. Uh, I'll pick a couple pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about. She bye, papa. She bye. But he's a happy baby, though. He really is. He really is a happy baby. And cranky when he. Wants to feel cranky. <laughs> he lets you know. <laughs> As you guys seen in my videos. <laughs> See, bye, Papa. Take care. Peace out. Peace out, my brothers. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> bye, guys. See ya. Take care. God bless. See ya, bros. A rato locos, which means later, uh, later vatos, means later uh, bros or uh, or it means uh, guys. <laughs> later vatos. <laughs>